Okay, welcome all. This video, as you see, which it's stated for, I'm not a mechanic. I don't hold myself out to be a mechanic. I don't purport to be an expert in automotive parts or processes to um, repair things. But I got sick and tired of not being able to find a video for a 2005 Chevy Impala, um, which... Um, need a lot of work uh, so my horn would just stay on okay unless I remove the horn relay and the horn fuse which I have been riding around for a couple weeks without and so for years the dealership kept saying it was the turn signal canceling cam but that's false as I damaged in this process the turn signal canceling cam and learned that the turn signal canceling cam does just what it says when this, when you turn, you use your multifunction switch to make a turn left or right, it's supposed to cancel that after you've made that turn. And so this little point right here sticks behind it, and mine was bent. Even though mine was working, when I damaged the rest of this plastic and some of the metal, it stopped working as efficiently as it was once working. So that I wanted to replace because the dealership said it wasn't. If that was the cause of my horn constantly sounding um, but that's not true it's really the clock spring so this clock spring piece right here is a piece that controls from what I'm learning or have learned almost everything rel relative to the horn airbag um, the yellow cord is airbag so you you must be careful with it um, as they've stated but my airbag is sitting right there um, fortunately, uh, it, it's been sitting right there and it has not exploded on me while driving. Um, so, um, and yes, I was driving without an airbag. So this right here is the clock spring. This right here is the turn signal canceling cam. This is the spring that I've had difficulty compressing after I had difficulty, uh, <laughs> compressing so that I can get this snap ring so let me let me let me try to help you out with this this book doesn't tell me much of anything on how to replace a turn signal canceling cam let alone a clock spring that controls your horn um, this toolkit helps you with most everything in terms of removing the stirring wheel Moving that airbag first from the steering wheel. Um, again, I'll let you see that and its parts. And so what I had to do was um, for my horn constantly sounding, I had, of course, remove the fuse and the relay. That stopped that, right? But um, in order to get past get this clock spring after you get the stirring column off or wheel off to get this off you have you must take off this snap ring okay and in order to take off the snap ring I didn't know this but you need snap ring pliers I had to learn that from another video that was like not even relative to on YouTube it was not even relative to um, a 2005 Chevy Impala or any of these models. So, um, you know, I have the eighth generation, which would be 2000 to 2005. Okay. And the ninth generation is totally different. Like, um, I forget what they call this thing, but like, this is totally different. There's two switches. So the headlight switch that would be in the multifunctional switch, it is in here so anyway i'm not getting into that technicality because i'm not an expert but um if you have headlight issues all you need to do is go to the junkyard for twenty dollars and find one of these and <laughs> replace it okay um there's videos on youtube that show you how to replace it um i would suggest using scissors to take off the the vinyl covering that's behind the stirring column because that makes it easier to access um, everything, especially if you're going to take off the airbag, uh, which is not required.
to take off your or replace your multifunctional switch. So anyway, getting to taking the clock spring off, which, which controls your horn, you want to take off this snap ring pliers, which are here. Um, and then you'll be able to slide it off. And then what will sit on top of that is this ring uh, or washer. I uh, thought I need to get a, went to Home Depot thinking I need to get a, a flat one. And no, this is made this way. A lot of people have quoted that it's made this way for pressure purposes. But it sits right on top of this lock plate. So there's not a video out there about replacing a lock plate on a 2000 to 2005 Chevy Impala or one of these models. So, um... Here's what I had to do. I had to um, buy an assortment after these picks from Walmart didn't work. I had to buy an assortment of picks, and those were purchased from AutoZone, okay, for about five or seven dollars. I forget. It was no more than ten dollars, and maybe eleven dollars um, to get that snap ring out of the first notch where <clears throat> right now I'm trying to push it back to so I can put everything back on so you have to be able to pick this thing out however to save you that hassle to get that snap ring to release like it's released now okay this is the tool you need so this tool which no video revealed, and nobody at AutoZone or anyone can tell me. This tool was available via Amazon as well as Home Depot, but not AutoZone, not O'Reilly's. This tool right here has a narrower U-frame. Here's a wide U-frame, and here's another wide U-frame, and that one that's laying down is not the right fit unless you have a metal cap on top of the turn signal canceling cam if you have a metal cap on there then you can come you can use that that one that you saw laying down here and it's adapters and and nut hex nuts etc to put the pressure down to get that lock spring excuse me that lock plate to compress enough uh that spring to allow that lock ring to be loose enough to slide onto the adapter. So this tool that would cost me $14 would, uh, <coughs> would at Amazon or via Amazon. Um, and then it was also available at Home Depot, but I needed it as soon as possible and Amazon got it here, even though it wasn't next day, which I'm pretty pissed about and probably going to cancel the Prime because of it. Um, you will utilize this tool. So this tool will be utilized before and after. So if you're trying to replace the turn signal canceling cam on a 2005 Chevy Impala, this is the tool that you would use. And then you would utilize um, some um, small uh, vice grips because, um, I mean, unless you got a perfect fit, but this size did not work or fit the nut um, there. So using some vice grips that I'll just turn and put the pressure on. And that'll allow this turn signal canceling cam to go back so as to not be damaged. So it'll press the spring back so as to not damage your turn signal canceling cam. And it'll allow you to move that, that spring, excuse me, that, uh, that ring onto the lock plate into that proper location you see that one notch there's one more notch that it's supposed to be at and then that'll allow you to connect this piece behind the turn signal canceling cam and then begin to put everything back in its proper order and then test whether or not your clock spring needs to be replaced um, I just need to remove this because mine was bent um, and then when I damaged it trying to get it off, I needed to replace it because it was not working properly with my turn signal. So 
that's the story for 2000 to 2005 Chevy Impala. I hope this helps you out. A1 Auto or 1A Auto has some great videos, but they did not have this one, and I could not wait for them to cycle through uh, their cars or whatever they wanted to tell me about showing me the video that would help me out. So share this. I don't need anybody to like it. I just need you to share it for people who need help with replacing or fixing or rectifying the issue with their horn either sounding continuously or not sounding at all. It's the clock spring.